Here's the guide for factoring polynomials. We need to start with the common monomial factoring. Then whatever will be the result, we're going to categorize them as to whether the result is a binomial, trinomial, or multinomial. And we have specific processes under specific results. Then we end it. Let's start with this polynomial. We have 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. This is a quadratic trinomial since we have three terms and we have the decreasing powers of the singular variable x. x squared, x, and we have a constant that could also be considered with x to the power of 0 or just simply equal to 1. So to factor a quadratic trinomial, there are two possible situations. We need to check first whether this is a perfect square trinomial or not. Because if it's a perfect square trinomial, then we proceed with its corresponding steps. And if it's not, we also have another method for that. To determine whether this trinomial is a perfect square trinomial or not, we need to satisfy these two conditions. The first condition is that the first term and the last term or the third term must be perfect squares. Now, 4x squared, your constant is 4. 4 is a perfect square of 2. And your, uh, I mean, not constant, or numerical coefficient, rather. And your literal coefficient is x squared, which is a perfect square of x. So both of them, 4x squared, is a perfect square of 2x, and we have satisfied that. Of course, 1 is a perfect square of itself. So with this, our first condition has been met. The second condition, okay, it doesn't mean that the first condition has been met. Automatically, we can use a perfect factoring for a perfect square trinomial because we need to satisfy the second condition. The second term, not just the coefficient, must be equal to this form. Twice the product of your square root of your first term and times the square root of your third term. So when we subject our first and second, uh, third term rather here, and uh, take this result, this should satisfy the second term. Our second term is 4x equal to twice the square root of the first term is this. Is this. Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of x squared is x. So square root of 4x squared is 2x. Then the square root of the third term of 1 is 1. But take note that whenever you consider... Uh, taking a square root of a number or a constant, please consider plus minus. But this will not be added nor subtracted to this expression because this is the sign of this expression here. So our 4x, and by the way, we are still in verification, so I'm going to place here question marks. So we have 2 times 2x is 4x. We have plus minus 1, so we have plus minus 4x. For this to be considered a perfect square trinomial having the same first and third terms, there are two possible values for the middle term. And since one of which is already our second term, so we have satisfied this, okay, one of which only. Okay, you could also have, if it's negative, so it's also satisfied. So this has been satisfied as well. With these two conditions already satisfied, we are sure that our trinomial here is a perfect square trinomial, and hence we can factor it out using this process. The factor of a perfect square trinomial is a square of a binomial. So the binomial will be, will be this. The square root of the first term, we know that already to be 2x, 2x. And square root of the last term, we have 1. But since we have plus minus 1, which of the two? You simply look at the sign of the middle term, plus. So, the factor of 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 is the square of a binomial 2x plus 1. This also means that there are two different, not different, two um, binomial x, uh, 2x plus 1 multiplied with each other to get the same quadratic trinomial. So either of these two is, is a set of factors, but we have satisfied already the factoring of this given quadratic trinomial, specifically a perfect square trinomial. The next factor we're looking for is for our next subscriber. Subscribe now!